tumi makakhtangin agli sanangin aku. Lakudangin agli sanangin aku. Wan tanam agli sanangin aku. The rolling, grassy, treeless hills. Ocean smell everywhere you go during the summer. The smell of tundra flowers drifting in the air. Sounds of the fur seal roaring in the distance. Seabirds calling on each other. And the gentle waves breaking on the beaches. I am home, St. Paul Island, Alaska. But things are changing on St. Paul Island. Summers are lasting longer. They're warmer and wetter. Winter used to be many feet of snow from November to April, sometimes well into May. We haven't seen the ice packs around the island in six to seven years. Sometimes it makes its way to the north side, but recedes shortly after. The shorelines are starting to erode because of the lack of sea ice guarding our shores during the windy months of fall and winter. When I was young, I heard stories about a certain part of the island that would split in two because of erosion. I never believed it, but now it is very possible. Year after year, we are seeing climate change with our own eyes, and I feel helpless. Whether it be erosion, seabird die-offs, hotter summers and warmer winters, or the decline of the fishing industry and the fur seal population, I feel utterly helpless. I think to myself, what can one person do to help in such a dire situation? Sometimes I feel like it's out of my control and I just have to sit out and let the scientists and people with degrees do their job. But it feels too slow and that climate change is too rapid for these people to do anything sensible. Regardless, this is our land. I will never leave, and I will be buried here amongst my friends and family that have passed on before me. I will try my best to help this place I call home. St. Paul Island, Alaska, home of the fur seals and the Nungan people. <laughs>